Hi, my name is Patricia Freire. I'm a PhD student at the Department of Dermatology of the Medical University of Vienna in Austria. And together with Christine Herres and Georg Stengel, have looked into the association between IgE and bullous pemphigoid. Bullous pemphigoid is a rare autoimmune skin disease that can appear in individuals who are around 70 years old and it is usually characterized by tense blisters that appear over very pruritic urticarial plaques. BP patients are almost always treated with steroids that are effective in a majority of cases but can cause severe adverse events like osteoporosis, cataracts and are often counterindicated, for example for patients with hypertension or diabetes. Furthermore, about one third of the patients does not respond to conventional therapies. So, in order to look for alternative therapies, we must first know which molecules are responsible for the pathogenesis and the symptoms of the disease. Now, several studies since the 1970s have shown that BP patients have circulating self-reactive IgE, but its mechanism of action has yet to be described. We collected blood and skin biopsies from approximately 30 BP patients, screened the serum for self-reactive IgE by ELISA, and analyzed the skin by immunofluorescence. We found that in BP skin, while IgG and complement deposit along the dermal epidermal junction, where the BP antigens are located, IgE is by contrast very rarely found in this region and instead occurs bound to cells, which we found to be primarily mast cells and eosinophils. And this led to the very important question that if the antigens are present along the dermal epidermal junction and IgE is covering cells that are not necessarily close to the junction zone, how do IgE and BP antigens interact? Well, we actually observed that BP180, one of the two antigens that is recognized by BP autoantibodies, is not only found along the dermal epidermal junction, but can also have fragments in the dermis. Now, importantly, these fragments are found co-localizing with IgE and eosinophils, suggesting that all these players do in fact interact. What's more, if we remove the IgE from the skin using an acid solution, we can observe that there is also a reduction in the fluorescence of these BP180 dermal dots, suggesting that they were, at least in part, associated with IgE. And finally, we stimulated rad basophils that expressed human FCFSN receptor 1 with IgE and BP180 peptides in cross-linking conditions and concluded that IgE-BP180 complexes are capable of triggering the degranulation of a cell. This means these IgE autoantibodies not only exist in the circulation and more importantly in the skin, but they are also equipped with the capacity to trigger inflammatory events that may well lead to some of the BP symptoms. Our study provides solid evidence that was lacking on the pathway that IgE uses to trigger the release of pro-inflammatory mediators and give scientific support to alternative therapies that target IgE.